Good morning and welcome to Overly Vast Nurseries. It's a beautiful day in late summer. The temperature's not too hot, though it's going to get hotter later on. And I'm here in our trial and testing area. This is where we trial and test new varieties to see how they perform right here in this region. That's the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states of the US. Now we got lots of really interesting and promising new plants that are coming in to us from breeders from various parts of the world. Some of them turn out to be really good, but before we introduce them and send them to our garden centers, we put them through the mill here to test, to see how they stand up and perform. But you know, one of the things about plants is that sometimes the old tried and true varieties shouldn't be overlooked too. And a case in point is this wonderful variety of panicle hydrangea here. This is hydrangea limelight, probably now the most popular variety on the market. And next to it is this little tight, compact one here. This is hydrangea paniculata bobo comes out, it's one of the earlier flowering varieties, comes out in the earlier part of the season with lots of beautiful snow white flowers that puts on a terrific show. Just a beautiful, probably one of the most widely planted of all of the smaller, more compact growing paniculatas. Individually, the flowers are not big, but as you see, they're carried in tremendous profusion all over the plant. And as you see also, it has this very nice kind of lacy effect to the flowers. And this would make a beautiful plant to put in, in say, a floral arrangement too. Because individually, the flowers are not big, but they're carried on strong stems and would make a beautiful thing for putting into floral arrangements or of course also putting into containers. And now in late summer, it's just starting to take on a little bit of pink shading and it keeps going right through into the autumn time. It started out life in Belgium nearly 20 years ago. Johan von Hollenbroek, the scientific director at the Flemish Institute of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food, developed it in 2003 and then selected the first seedling in 2005. And then it was introduced by proven winners and color choice shrubs in 2007. And from that time until the present time, we've really been impressed by its performance. It really excels right here in our conditions in this region and in gardens right throughout the whole of the country as far as I understand. A really superb, compact growing little plant that puts on a terrific show. It's easy to grow, really hardy and very reliable. I hope you get a chance to grow it somewhere in your garden. And if you're interested in getting a few plants to plant out somewhere around your home, then when you go and visit some of our partnering garden centers, then take a look at these plants because these are examples of the sort of plants you're likely to encounter when you visit some of our partnering garden centers. There's hundreds of them spread out all over our region. And when you get there, you're going to be able to see beautiful, healthy, well-shaped plants like this that are ready to get off to a great start. They're raring to grow. Nice, vigorous, healthy plants that are very often loaded with lots of flowers like this beautiful plant here. Big enough to make a nice instant impact and yet small enough to be easily transported and planted out in your garden. And if you'd like to find out more about panicle hydrangeas, including this variety, and indeed even how to look after them, how to prune them, how to plant them too, I'd encourage you to scroll through our channel because there's videos on there with lots of information to help you get the very best results from in your garden. Now, when you get to the garden center, you're going to find other beautiful varieties too. Ones that we've trialed and tested and ones that we know are good performers for this region. And sometimes if you get there and they're not there anything, go back, visit the garden center frequently because there's new plants coming in all the time. 
Sometimes, as you see, we'll have these growing like this one that's full flower. But then look at these plants here in the front, and you'll see that these are ones that are still to come and flower. This is how we produce them here in the nursery. We call this cycle pruning. So these ones are ready to go out to the garden center just now, perfect condition, and ready to make a nice new transition into their home somewhere in your garden. But if you didn't get them this week, then go back in a few weeks time and these ones will be flowering. That's how we try to make sure that in the garden centers you're going to have lots of really nice colorful instant plants that you can see immediately whether you like it or not. So lots of really exciting and interesting things going on with panicle hydrangeas and other plants too. This is David Wilson for Overly Vest Nurseries. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment too.